Hi, UA Path Experts. Uh, if you want to learn robotic process automation, the tool UA Path. So I will provide the training, online training. It is so. So this is my number nine seven zero five four three five two double seven, and this is my channel. Okay. So what are the, what are all the topics I will cover in this uh, training? So so. I have a nine plus years of experience, and these uh, companies HP, DXC, UST, Global, Judge Technologies. These are all the companies I work, and these are all the technologies I work. So this is uh, my experience, and uh, I'm going to cover in this training period. It's it's like a thirty days uh, duration, uh, each day one hour, and uh, so each day end of the day, I will give the tasks actually. So. Which cover on that topic, that that day topics, and uh, so I I will tell about this. What is the advantages and uh, uh, who is the leader and RPA UI path is the leader. How to how to install the UI path? What is the community edition? What is the enterprise edition? The differences and what are the main three components in the UI path? Studio, Eurobot, Orchestrator, and I will explain about the Studio overview. So all the tabs. All the panels. So, what all the uh, activities panel, properties panel, snippets, output. Uh, so, these are all the panels. What is the uh, use of the, those panels and the, the over, overview of UiPath Studio? I will cover and the activities. What are the what is the activity? How to create an activity? So, if if you don't find any activity into the activities panel, how to import the activities from the manage packages? Okay, these are all the things and uh, main containers. There's a sequence, flowchart, state mission. What is a selector? The main purpose of the selector: how to create a dynamic selector, how to build the selectors, and uh, the the deep dive into the selector concept. So, creating the uh, dynamic selector using the wildcards and uh, creating the variables, adding the variables within the selectors and anchor base. These things now I will cover here. And web-based automation. So any web applications, how to find the element, and uh, so these are all the. Uh, apart from these, so many things. Type, type into, check, uh, select items, anchor, ancestors, get attributes. Okay. So Windows automation, I will cover. So any desktop automation, and data scrapping and screen scrapping. How to get the data from the pattern-based data from the website, and table format. HTML table format data from the website with the UI path, and how we can run the uh, our our process using the batch file that I will cover, and the agent bot. This is a triggered by the it's like an attended bot triggered by the user. So that I will I, I will going to cover, and the variables. So what is the variable? Why we have to use the variables? So what is the rules and regulations? Uh, to create a variable name, and uh, these are all the programming uh, concepts I uh, am going to cover. So, uh, dialog box, assign a method, and string. There is a lot of string methods are there in the, this UI path. It will support all the dot net uh, string methods like a uh, contains, starts with, ends with, substring, split, uh, length. Okay, so there is a uh, padding so there is a lot of things uh, are there in the string methods in the string methods if you know the string it is a really awesome it will help uh, very very uh, uh, useful okay so on the conditions okay single line if condition how can we write a if condition in the single line as an operate as an activity itself and the conditions like a if condition decision flow switch and uh, so flow switch okay so the loops for each loop while loop do while for each row activity for each row activity and the list of the strings list of integers and dictionaries and how can we convert uh, how can we convert that uh, uh, one data type to another data type string to integer integer to string and there is a date time uh, activities are there date time if you want to add the multiple days multiple months so I want to get the uh, uh, previous uh, uh, every every fourth day, uh, 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 okay, every previous day, yesterday's date, day before date, and how can we get the date format which we want? Okay, so DDM, YY, so different kind of things. 
so these things i am going to cover in this programming session and logging and debugging how can we debug the our process to find the, the to find the how the values goes step by step and to find the errors okay to track our process so how to create a log messages there's the error logs information logs these things and all the exception handling i am going to cover how can we throw our own exception the business exception and the application exceptions so deep dive onto the application uh, the, the exception handling how can we handle exception and this is operating system interacting with operating system like a file system uh, csv folder system creating the folders deleting the folders finding the folders and the clipboard set the clipboard get the clipboard and set the get the selected text environment variables as well as the environment folders like a if you if you create a, a folder like a download folder or a desktop folder so it will vary system to system login to login right in operating system so so how can we make that as a generic kind of thing so that is a uh, environment uh, variables i will cover and uh, powershell code how can we run the powershell code how to kill start and get the processes which is running into our system and open and uh, close the applications windows applications so the next one is a invoke code so how can we invoke the code like a vb.net code and pass the parameters to the uh, vb.net code and do some uh, operations using the vb.net code and get the output from the vb.net code and how to call the methods the predefined methods for the, all the classes here i will cover the data tables filter data table build data table add a new column add it in new row into the data table so so join the data table and uh, so there's a lot of uh, data tables uh, uh, concepts ha we have so getting the remove duplicates so these things are also because every day so there is a lot of tabular format data we are dealing with the in ua path so whether this da data table is coming from the excel or any web page uh, html table anything but we have to do so many operations uh, removing the duplicates uh, so th there is a lot of uh, operations we have to do okay so here i am going to cover the data table concepts and that this is the excel automation so how to read the range write the range set the color and get the color and change the value and how to execute the macro okay invoke the vb.net code so this is these things and all uh, i will cover and uh, here is the email automation so i'm going to cover the email automation uh, like a sending the mail and receiving the mails and word automation so ms word automation and here is the pdf automation i'm going to cover how to add the pdf uh, read the pdf and uh, write the pdf this is a reusable components so to uh, to reuse the components uh, existing components so creating the reusable workflows so here ocr optical character recognition recognitions which is uh, reading the data from the image text from the image and the image automations so here so the how to how can we publish the robot into the orchestrator how can we schedule the bot how can we run on demand through jobs so these are all the steps i'm going to cover and the assets creating assets setting the value to the asset into the cloud and uh, how to uh, store the credentials so okay securely these things and all i am going to cover in this orchestrator session so this this is the next one is a uh, queues this is the biggest concept queues is a queue mechanism fast in fast out fast come fast serve concept okay how can we add the queues so what is the advantage of the, of the queues and how can we maintain the workload balance kind of thing so, so dispatcher and performer concepts here is a dispatcher is a dispatching the items to the queue and performer is a getting the items from the queue and performing and setting the status this is a going uh, i'm going to cover the queue concepts here and uh, finally the last session is a state mission uh, and the state mission and re framework this is the biggest concept re framework robotic enterprise framework i'm going to cover so it's the very easiest concept are we are we framework so how can we the, the advantages what why we have to use the re framework so with 
so there is a normal without RE framework. What is the disadvantages if you don't use the RE framework? What is the advantages? And uh, so we can make the uh, one big process. So the real time process using the RE framework. Okay. So these are all the topics I am going to cover into the this training UI path training. If you are interested, any one of you interested, are your friends interested? So please call to this number nine seven zero five four three five two double seven. Okay, or you can message me in the WhatsApp. Okay, so these are all the topics I am going to cover into the this uh, thing. Thank you, thank you very much.